Hello guys, what's up? It's Sasif here. So, if you guys using the Panasonic cameras, then I have a very good news today because the G7, the latest versions, version is coming very soon and they will use the hybrid autofocus system that will be huge because their previous autofocus system is just suck if you really can work with the manual focus then only then you can go with the panasonic because there are many interesting specification on their videographical spec sheets that is or are absent in nikon canon so for that many more actually love the panasonic cameras use the panasonic gh5 gh5 mark 2 but that sucks in autofocus area and they did it correct with the Panasonic S5 Mark II. They did it again with a little bit updated version, little bit better than the previous one with the G9 Mark II and they will do it again with the G7, sorry, GH7. And this will be detrimental to every single one in the camera industry because GH7 or GH5, GH6 series are affordable but at the same time having very high videographical specification so if some camera like this can have a hybrid autofocus system with almost 7 to 8 stops of image stabilization then it will be detrimental for Nikon, for Canon, for Sony because you will have another competitor in your league from now on just think of it that I want to spend $2,000 for a video camera body that should have good autofocus system can able to shoot at least 4k 120p 60p will also be work I don't need the 6k I don't need the 8k but 4k 60p or 4k 120p will be enough for me flat profile picture will be there tons of ports audio ports video ports that will be there so before the introduction of the gh7 there will be only some cameras like the nikon z6 mark 2 nike canon r10 canon r7 sony s7 mark 2 like those ones but and yes the fujifilm xt5 fujifilm xt4 is relevant still right now but from now on there will be another player which will be introducing in the new league but that player or the coach of that player will have very huge experience better than the icon better than the canon better than the sony in the videographical area and that will be huge because if the gh7 put a price tag of 1699 1799 or 1999 for the farthest one can have great autofocus system then i think every videographical guy will rushed to buy it they will ditch nikon ditch canon ditch sony for this one for sure they will go for that because of the gradability you can say about the panasonic so as for the news we will get this particular camera in the quarter four of 2023 so it's the october already so one to two months away from today we will get the gh7 for sure with the hybrid autofocus system and that will be detrimental to every single one and that's all goodbye guys have a nice day see you soon